So now we're back with the sanitary manhole base and like to show the ease of installing the pipe onto this nipple. Now we've cut the end plate on that comes on all of the nipples. There's a plate on there that just helps keep that the roundness of that 8 inch outlet. We've cut that off. I'm going to lubricate the nipple and we're going to stick this pipe on. Once that's belled on there, the pipe is headed in the right flow direction. And that's it. We belled the spigot into the hub of the pipe and now it's sealed. This is the Fernco Quick Seal. This particular unit here is sized for 8 inch STR 35. The whole size for a Fernco Quick Seal on 8 inch is a 9 inch hole. The 9 inch hole we've already cut. I did this with a jigsaw. It can also be done with a roto zip. The best way is to cut it with a hole saw. If you don't cut it with a hole saw, you have to do, make a very accurate cut so that you don't disrupt the seal, which is on the outside of this Fernco quick seal. Place the quick seal in the hole. Make sure it's properly placed with the inside lip on the inside of this structure. The pipe is added in this end and then this stainless steel clamp goes around the outside of this Fernco quick seal and it's tightened to make the seal against the pipe. Once the pipe is put into the quick seal, it helps push out the quick seal to seal against the structure itself. The other one we'd like to show you is an insertity installation. I'm going to have to turn this. The hole for the inserted T is an eight and three quarter inch hole. The hole saws are available from us. They're available to rent or buy. And the hole saw is the best way to cut a connection into these because it's gonna leave you a nice, true, round hole. On the, the inserted T, the hub piece goes first. And this hub has a gold line on it that you line up where the top of the pipe is going to be. It also has the groove here, which is where it sits into the structure. And it has an inside and outside rubber flange that traps that, in that into the unit. So we'll place the gold stripe where top is going to be on the pipe, on this structure. Let's make sure it's properly seated. 
An inserter T comes with the hub that's driven into this rubber adapter. You're going to lubricate the hub. This is just a soap and water mixture. The reason we don't use regular pipe lube is that it will stay forever slippery. And once this soap and water dries out, it won't, it won't be as much. Again, we line the line up with the line on the hub, the gold line. Start it in by hand, making sure that it's square. And then the hub is driven in with a hammer and a piece of wood. We'll bring it back out to roughly where that line is for the insertion depth. And then we tighten the stainless steel band to make the seal against the pipe. The seal between the hub and the manhole is made with the pressure of the, uh, of the rubber expanding out against the polyethylene manhole once this hub is driven in. And that's an inserted key installation. The other option on Rhino polyethylene manholes is that any pipe of polyethylene can be extrusion welded directly to the structure. This is an outlet that we've extrusion welded in of 8 inch. The hole was cut roughly the size of the pipe and then an uh, extrusion welded bead of high density polyethylene was welded between the pipe and the structure. This can be done up to 12 inch on this five inlet sanitary base on the catch basin base we can weld up to a 36 inch pipe into the bottom of it. Um, if the uh, outlets are extrusion welded in the shop you can still attach any type of pipe. We could give you a short hub and you could use a flexible coupling. Uh, most people have using the shear band type which has a stainless steel band around the the uh, rubber coupling to help support the pipe. Thank you for watching our presentation. I hope we have been able to show some of the benefits of the high density polyethylene manhole. Again, we'd like to thank John Pickett and Rhino of Oregon for giving us this opportunity to bring it to some of our customers. One of the things about the high density polyethylene manhole that we've seen in the field is we're out there doing some manhole rehabilitation work with high build epoxy. That high build epoxy in order to rehabilitate a manhole can be up to $300 per foot to fix a deteriorating manhole. This high density polyethylene manhole is never going to deteriorate. The life expectancy of this thing is 50 to 100 years and the only reason that you say that is because we haven't had them in for 100 years. But once they have been it'll be 100 plus. Thank you John. Thank you Kevin.